called it the relaxation room, but for students sent here at a local school, that's apparently not how it felt. And now it's shut down. When a parent raised a red flag about the Arlington Community Day School, Lawrence School officials took notice. Yeah, they're not using it anymore, but as Lisa Greshi explains, the very idea that kids were sent there is making some parents very angry. It all started when Ashley Martinez took a picture of one of these relaxation rooms and posted it to social media. This is what Lawrence Public Schools thinks is acceptable as a relaxation room, and this is not okay for our kids. This is not safe. There's a broken chair. There's no padding on the wall. There's no soft, cushy floor. Her post quickly got the attention of the Lawrence Public School District, the superintendent making the call to close the rooms until further notice. Anyone who's not involved in special ed, your initial reaction is like, you know, what's going on here? Pavel Piano, a Lawrence School Committee member, says the room serves a specific purpose. This room is used for students that have sensory disorder issues. But Martinez says while her seven-year-old daughter Juliana does suffer from sensory issues, she's been sent to one of these rooms one too many times. Why do you let it get to the point where she needs to go to this room? While there's more than one relaxation room in this elementary school, Martinez just wants the school to know that not every child will react well to them. Well, she has nightmares in this room. She's scared of this room. My daughter suffers severely of PTSD. So she's petrified of these rooms and being alone. A spokesperson for the school district released the following statement. To be clear, we take these concerns extremely seriously and the investigation is ongoing. Based on preliminary interviews, record reviews, and security tape viewing, indications are that state, district, and school policies have been adhered to. We expect to gain more clarity on the details as our review continues. Reporting in Lawrence, Lisa Greshi, WBC News.